So now we have the memory game of numbers, a game that you can play with, actually you can play it up to 10 children. Most likely you, you won't have that many children home. Let's say maybe you have three. So you give each child a little bowl or it could be a Dixie cup, it could be anything you want. Now, in this basket, I have some numeral cards. You get to pick a numeral and whatever it is, you can't show your other siblings or your friends, you just keep it your secret and then you go and you pick that many toys and you put it in your bowl. Let's see what we got here. Okay, got another child. They have to look at it and remember it while they go over and get the right number of objects. say the third child. Okay, then you can ask them in the order in which they got them or whatever order. How many did yours say? Mine said eight. Okay, let's count out your objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right, you got eight objects and then go through it. And of course, this one little child only got one. It didn't only, didn't get to get more than one. And the most interesting part of this game is there's also a zero in there. And if you can imagine how a child has to suppress their desire to get in their hands on the toys if they got a zero, but that's one of the numerals. And so this is just a wonderful way that you can play with as many or as few. You can play this with mom, dad, and two kids. You know, you could just have fun with this. And I've seen schools that have a big bunch of beans, but it's much more fun if you have little toys, with little assorted objects that children will be interested in getting and counting. So it's just a way to refresh their knowledge of num numerals.